Catherine Gaskell, Product Manager. And I'm Jim Lundgren, Design Engineer. We proudly introduced Dry Steam's insulated tube option for ultrasorb and rapid sorb dispersion systems. As you all know, hot dispersion tubes waste energy, but do you know how much? A 10 foot by 10 foot 3 inch on center ultrasorb makes about 200 pounds per hour of condensate. That wastes 400 million BTUs, 400,000 pounds of condensate annually, and about $19,000 at Boston Electric rates. The insulated tube option will save up to 11,000 every year, not even including the 240,000 pounds a year of water savings and reduced cooling load. Jim, would you please tell everyone about our PVDF insulating material? PVDF stands for polyvinyl iodine fluoride, an advanced fluoropolymer known for its longevity and demanding chemical, semiconductor, medical, defense, and aerospace applications. Dry Steam's custom designed machines wrap the insulation around the tubes, weld the insulation seam, punch the holes, and install the tubelets, all right here in our factory. We captured this patent pending design brilliance and manufacturing success in the 12 inch dispersion tube you received in your announcement package. What you have is the actual sample of the product capability. We want to thank you for your patience. This new product option is well worth the wait. And while we're here, Jim, will you explain the significance of this product enhancement? Sure. Finding a suitable insulation material and attachment method proved challenging. To begin with, the insulation material needs to, be, needs to have a very low thermal conductivity to provide maximum energy savings with minimum thickness. The material must also meet the 25 and 50 flame and smoke ratings of UL723 and ASTM E84 and withstand continuous service temperatures up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition, it should not off-gas, not absorb moisture, not support microbial growth, not require vapor or UV barriers or wraps, and not degrade when exposed to UVC light from germicidal lamps. And finally, the insulation material and attachment method must be cost-effective to allow rapid payback periods for customers. After exhaustive research investigation, a new PVDF insulation material was located with a blend of unique properties that satisfied nearly all of the requirements. A unique formulation of this PVDF insulation was then developed for dry steam, and it now meets all of the stringent requirements of the insulated dispersion tube application. It even earned an amazing zero flame and zero smoke rating on the UL723 test, easily meeting the maximum 25 and 50 flame and smoke ratings allowed for plenum use and uh, thanks Jim we probably heard enough about the engineering challenges to bring this product to production tell us the five ways that insulating tubes save customers energy and money insulated dispersion tubes provide savings in many ways first since less steam condenses in the dispersion tubes less steam needs to be created to maintain a given humidification load and as you know it takes about a thousand BTUs to heat and vaporize a pound of water Second, in some cases, this increased efficiency allows the application of a smaller steam generator. Third, less heat gain to the air means less cooling load in applications that humidify and cool simultaneously. So there's less energy wasted cooling unnecessarily heated air. Remember, each pound of condensate created in the dispersion tubes means an additional 1,000 BTUs of cooling load. Fourth, reducing the amount of condensate sent to a drain reduces water consumption and water treatment maintenance and chemical costs. Fifth, heating air with a humidification appliance is inefficient. Catherine, you mentioned some staggering energy and cost savings. Could you expand on that? And is it a specifiable option? This is specifiable. Our ultrasorb and rapid sorb dispersion systems have been providing guaranteed short absorption for over 15 years and over 40,000 applications. Insulated tubes take this industry-leading performance a significant step forward. So how much savings are we talking about? At only 1 8 inch thick, the efficient PVDF insulation reduces dispersion tube condensate and heat loss up to 85%, depending on your airspeed. The surface temperature of the stainless steel tube is reduced from 211 degrees Fahrenheit to only 95 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on airspeed. I've held my hand on insulated dispersion tubes and they are cool to the touch while operating with steam flowing inside. The ability of PVDF insulation to hold heat in the dispersion tube is why our insulated dispersion tubes produce so little condensate. 
This graph represents the heat loss per linear foot of tube versus airspeed for uninsulated and PVDF insulated dispersion tubes. As you can see, the heat loss from PVDF insulated tubes is only a fraction of the heat loss from uninsulated tubes. The up to 85% reduction in heat loss corresponds to up to 85% reduction in condensate and heat gain to the duct air. The energy and cost savings provided by dry steam's insulated tubes option will actually pay for itself in about one to two years. Payback on some applications is much less than one year. On the CD within your announcement package, you will find a white paper where we neatly present steam dispersion, heat gain, heat transfer, performance and efficiency, along with a real life example that you and your customers will appreciate. Also on the CD, you will find our insulated tube sales brochure, installation and maintenance instructions, specification, and a PowerPoint presentation. Please power update your dry calc today and watch our website for price pages, additional sales tools, and the latest news. Ultrasorb and Rapidsorb products with the insulated tube option or insulated tubes for retrofit applications will be available for shipment March 19th. Please take the time today to read and understand the, all the information and don't hesitate to call your regional manager or me with any questions. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm trying to thank and talk at the same time. Yeah, but all of a sudden this is going to be in my hands. <laughs> the revolutionary new PVDF insulating material. PVDF stands for polyvinyl iodine fluoride. Patent pending design brilliance and manufacturing success in one foot of dispersion tube. And. Uh, thanks, Jim. We probably heard enough about. I gotta steal this from It's really good though. It takes this industry leading performance a significant leap forward. I guess that's not wrong. It's not really right though either. I'll say it one more time. In heat loss. That doesn't make sense. I should really memorize that. I, I'm a, you don't say anything else. <laughs> okay. The up to 85%.